Cause I'm a boss. Oh, hell no. Hi guys, it's Yanni and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about these three young ladies. I have Tammy Rivera, Yaya Mayweather, and Ariana Fletcher. Today's topic is going to be about if the tables were turned, these three ladies would be single. And what does that mean? How can we learn from these three ladies and their situations? Let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. So first up, I have Tammy Rivera. Now, if you are not familiar with Tammy Rivera, she is married to Waka Flocka, and they recently came out with their reality show. Marriage is, um, it's marriage. Obviously, it's a commitment, but it's not just a commitment with to another partner. I feel like it's more like a friendship. I just love you, Tammy and Waka. You are now husband and wife. You can tune in to their reality show on WeTV, but a clip of their reality show went viral because he made the statement, Waka Flocka made the statement saying that he made his wife a better woman because of his cheating. So let's go ahead and tune into this clip and I'll be back for the remainder of my commentary. She made her meaner. She had no idea what she was up against. It could have made her or broke her. Even if it would have broke her, I, I was still assisted on it. it. It made her even better than what I thought. But you didn't do you that. You tried to you make didn't... her process life I the way you her. did. All I and did was he help. Think, no, what you did, that's the thing. He thinks that he helped me by doing, doing some of the evil or mean things he did to make me meaner. That didn't help me. What that did was add insecurities to me and it made me not trust your judgment and search. And made me not trust you in yeah, certain ways. Everything, everything it did not help me, but you didn't have to do that. Mean. Life would have done that. It's to say that. It's I actually to actually say, hey, she made you better. But it actually made Tammy like like a, a beast. Basically, oh, rules looking at her. I don't, I, don't, I don't think nothing is more embarrassing than that. She didn't even make me stronger. Beating his ass made me stronger. So in simpler terms, Waka Flocka is basically saying that he made his wife a better woman by cheating because she developed a backbone. This has nothing to do with her being more mean. This has everything to do with the fact that she simply didn't have a backbone. And so she allowed and she tolerated his poor behavior. You know, I found it funny when people are like, oh, she's stupid for going back to her husband. Your mother must be stupid too, huh? And your grandmother and your auntie. Because I'm sure if you sit down with any of them who's been married for 30, 40, 50, 60 years and ask them about your grandfather, they'll tell you some shit that will surprise the fuck out you. So he feels by cheating on her repeatedly, it made her a better woman because she developed a backbone. And that most likely was a turnoff for Waka Flocka because there were times where he would cheat on her and then she would hop on these reality shows. She would hop on these radio shows. Well, it's sad because it's like you can't even take pictures no more with people because everybody has a motive. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he was in an airport and this girl, you know, she's like, oh, why can I take a picture? So he took a picture with her. And then, you know, that was that. But then she went in his DMs and was like, let's make a movie. Can you go and like my picture? Can you uh, follow me back? Um, here's my number. Can you call me? I'm the girl that took a picture with you in the airport. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, pretty much just like ignored the whole situation, shut it down. She would hop on Snapchat and she would defend him publicly. And so most likely over time, he lost a lot of respect for her. One thing that I've noticed when it comes to men, when you check them on them being disrespectful towards you, they gain more respect for you. But when you downplay it or when you brush it to the side or when you don't make it a big deal, when you don't stand your ground, when you are being disrespected, you just tolerate it. You just put up with it. They lose respect for you over time. Time. I even let him move in the house so I could just dog him out so that he could leave. Mm -hmm. And he stayed there. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm God telling damn, you, damn I was just so tired. <laughs> and I mean, just being mean, just like ignoring, just being real nasty. 
nasty. And I'm like, this is my plan. I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to let him move in. And then I'm going to just be real nasty. And he's going to mm-hmm. give up. It's so imperative that as young women, that if a man is disrespectful to you, you check him the first time. You don't wait for the second. You don't wait for the third. You don't wait for the fourth time. You check him the first time and you make it very known that he is to never do that ever again. And trust me, he will respect you and he will value you so much more. So when it comes to Tammy, the reason why she's in this situation yet again, being publicly embarrassed by her husband is because she keeps putting herself in this situation by not having a backbone because in reality when it came to this recording I would have checked him right there and then don't ever say yo cheating made me a better woman but she didn't you know she just brushed it over because we would have stopped recording cut the cameras I'm out I'm walking off and I'm not coming home it's situations like that you got to know the art of walking away you can't just sit there and just tolerate just anything thinking that it's going to be okay this will all brush over it's no big deal no you have to make it known and you have to check these men when they disrespect you the first time and really briefly I'm going to show you guys how I repaired my skin after a really bad breakout so recently I went from being low carb to back on keto and with the transition my skin went through hell and back but with this homemade skincare line by Royals Essence I was able to repair my skin probably within about three weeks which was pretty fast in my opinion so I use the skincare line it's 100% natural and pure and also their essential oils are high quality I mean if you smell it you could just tell it's very high quality and you could tell it's definitely natural and 100% pure so So I really enjoyed this line, you guys. It helped me out tremendously and pretty fast. I'm also using their Repair Facial Cream to hydrate my skin to help with dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So check out the line. I'll make sure to have all information down below in my description box. Ayanna Mayweather, also known as Yaya, was arrested for alleged aggravated assault. The 19-year-old was jailed in Harris County, Texas after a 25-year-old woman was stabbed. I also wanted to add that it is alleged that Yaya Mayweather caught NBA Youngboy with another girl and Youngboy made his security remove her. So she snuck back in and fought the girl because she was losing. She grabbed a knife and stabbed her. Now the girl is in critical condition. Now it is alleged that this is the same girl that she fought a few months back. But let me go ahead and weigh in and give my two cents on this entire situation. It's really sad to see a 19 year old girl who grew up with a silver spoon in her mouth possibly facing jail time or prison time all because she got with the wrong guy. So that is a lesson within itself. You have to be very mindful of the type of men that you entertain because they can definitely jeopardize your future. It's not always in the spectrum of an unwanted pregnancy. It could be in situations like this. One thing that I've noticed about NBA Youngboy, I watched a few of his lives and he constantly seems angry. You know what a nigga say? A nigga say, nigga say I cooperated. Bow, bow, pain, bow, 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 what you stupid bitch? Huh? Bow, 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 my wife? Huh? But my wife say, Ayana, get up. Get up. Come here. You talking about, you talking about this girl right here? My wife? You talking about my wife? Inside, inside my house that I paid for? Not her bitch ass daddy nigga? Huh? I have yet to see this man on Instagram live where he's calm, cool, and just collective. Like he just always seems on edge. He always seems angry. He always seems like there's a problem. He has all of that money, lives in that nice house, drives those nice fancy cars, but he always seems angry. And that can be very draining on a woman's spirit if she is dealing with a man like NBA young boy. So Another thing that I noticed was the fact that he has created pure delusion in this girl. <laughs> hold on, hold on, Dave, you think that's something? Hold on, let's talk about the ring. No, no, no. This is a girl that's walking around 
proudly flaunting a ring that has no commitment attached to it or legal documentation but she's just so proud at the fact that he refers to her as his wife but he also has another girl pregnant and he also has another woman tatted on his body that he has yet to cover up which is something that he can easily get done because he has the money to do so so I just don't understand why she chooses to be with a man like this and and we've all been young. We've all gone through things. We've all dealt with men that just were no good for us. And for some of us, it takes us a little longer. I mean, this is a 19 year old girl. But what's really sad to me is that neither of her parents really add value to her life as far as guidance and direction and just solid advice. And it's really sad. So this is a girl that's just out here trying to figure it out on her own. It doesn't seem like her parents really care about her in that way and this could be a scream or a cry for help in my opinion who knows I'm gonna wish her the best I'm not gonna tear her down in this video you guys because this is a 19 year old girl I thought I had life figured out at her age but it took me growing up a little bit maturing a little bit to understand that I didn't I hope that this does not affect the rest of her life but it very may well affect the rest of her life and I'm just gonna wish her the best moving on to Ariana Fletcher her current boyfriend Moneybag Yo posted up on Instagram playing with his newborn baby. Spring. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Now, a few months back, rumors were circulating that Moneybag Yo cheated on Megan Thee Stallion and ended up getting a girl pregnant. Now, Moneybag Yo actually confirmed why Meg was in her feelings, and it's because he allegedly got a stripper knocked up, and Meg is furious. Now, he's not the first celebrity to drop baby gravy off in a stripper, but apparently he got caught, and Megan dropped him like a burger at McDonald's before they throw it on your bread. He took to his social media to try to do some damage control where he said all the money in the world can't control all of these rumors. And then another post right after said ain't no stripper in the world can say they F with me or having my baby. Stop with the cat. We are assuming that this is the baby. And my question for you guys is this. If the tables were turned, do you think Moneybag Yo would even deal with Ariana Fletcher? Do you think that they would be in a relationship? This is a man who has several kids by several different women. And he happens to have a newborn baby in the process. This is a woman who has one child. Now, now, does she have baggage? I mean, yeah, we know her personality. We know her traits, her ways and things like that based off of what she posts on Instagram and social media. But still, I mean, that's a lot of baggage for one man to have to take on. And he tends to have this behavioral pattern where he impregnates women and then he leaves them. He doesn't tend to stick around after he impregnates the women that he chooses to impregnate. So when I'm thinking of being in Ariana Fletcher's shoes, it just doesn't make any sense to me, especially when the tables or if the tables were turned, this man wouldn't even look twice in my direction. So why would I give this man the time nor the day? So that's all that I have regarding this video, you guys. I would love your thoughts and opinions, so make sure you comment them down below. And if you are new here, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you are notified for when I upload, and I'll catch you in my next one.